Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Yes, it's me, April Love, here in Boston, wishing you a blessed time. Truly hope you find a reason to smile, to laugh, to enjoy life, to appreciate everything and everyone around you. So, this is going to be Wednesday's vlog, and I'm starting it at about 2.30 a.m. Tuesday, um, just because... I'm a little emotional at the moment. Not sure exactly why, but I've been getting moments of inspiration, moments of I want to reach that scale, I want to change lives, I want to do more amazing and big and beautiful, positive, loving things, you know. And you heard me talk about, you know, uh, Fuzzy inspiring me and Lily and Roman and I mean I've been watching random videos on Facebook you know something pops up in your in your news feed and then you follow the links of videos from the original video you started watching and you know I'm just <laughs> continually getting emotional watching things, everything from clips of Ellen and happy for the families and the people that she recognizes and helps and whatever, and that part of me that, although I'm happy for them, I wish it was me, and then on top of that, wishing that I was the one doing the same thing that she does, where, you know, you change someone's life for the better in a big way. I know I don't have to make grand gestures, but that's how I am. That's who I am, you know. Um, and, you know, I'm thinking of my job and thinking how, you know, within the next year or so, probably less than a year, you know, I either have to find a new job or make whatever I'm doing now as far as the t-shirts, YouTube, or whatever, I gotta find a way to start making money, making a living, doing the things that I've been doing, the things that I love to do. And I get excited and scared and nervous and all that good stuff, but, you know, it's also, it's not crippling me as much as it was. I mean, I do get nervous and scared, but I do my best to pull myself out of my, my out of my head, and just continue to create and believe that the stepping stone that I want to happen happens. And it's not about being famous. It's not about having a fortune. Although I would love to get into the multi millions, but that you know, it's not really about that it's a combination of things I want purpose in my life I want fulfillment in my life and yes I want to be able to do what I want when I want and when I say that I don't mean lounge around and do nothing although I will you know I do enjoy my luxury time my relaxed time I do enjoy being lazy you know but in the big scheme of things, I want to impact people in the same way that Oprah, Ellen, countless others do. You know, and not just celebrities, I mean, or not just the YouTubers I watch, but, you know, I want to get to the point where I can make a difference in people's lives and that, you know, in a grand scale. Um, anyway... I just figured I'd start the vlog off here because uh, I, I can keep rambling on about the same thing, but I think, you know, it was just there, so I decided to talk about it. So it is only 2.30 a.m. on Tuesday, so I got a lot, lot of time to go. So I'll be back. So I officially started my fasting and having to change the timing for when I eat and it's only been two days so far but I've been managing to get through the, my bottle of water 
tonight I have, I already had um, a salad tonight. I ate grilled cheese at home. This is overnight um, oats with Greek yogurt, cherries, cinnamon, honey, uh, coconut milk. And I got my omelet. This is the only way I'm going to get my eggs in because you know how much I love my eggs. So, And I'm trying to eat healthy too throughout all of this. Um, I think I overdid it today because I had two grilled cheese with some crispy crowns, but I also had uh, carrots and celery on the side with some hummus. Um, a, a cup with apple cider vinegar with ginger and cinnamon. Uh, I had a protein shake probably about an hour and a half ago. And it's about to hit 3 o'clock. Fajr prayer, which is the first prayer of the day, is about is going to happen around 3.30. So after that, I can't eat or drink anything. So, um, so this right here is going to be the end of my food intake for the day. I did have another meal with me, but I think I'm just going to save it for tomorrow night. Um, and yeah, so the journey continues. See you in the next shot. Yeah, you want some eggs? Hey, yeah, yeah. Were you born the way you felt you were meant to be born? Are you living your true, authentic self? Do you know who you truly are and stand up for what you believe in? You know, this is one of the reasons why I picked some of the songs today was, like I said, it was a mixture of wanting to, you know, reflect on people and situations to appreciate, you know, that either help you to become who you are today, um, and even in the negative moments where like people might be bullying you or you know having you're just having a hard time in life you know it gets you to stop and think about what you really want in life what you really want for yourself and who you really want to be as a person you know so songs like born this way and that actually came up for me um well, the song popped up for me the other day, um, flipping through Facebook, and came across um, some raw footage of Lady Gaga singing to uh, Orphan, I believe in South, South America, I don't remember exactly where, but she was basically singing that song kind of a cappella, um, more obviously just kind of singing it slow and directly to the child and stuff so it was inspiring you and you really got to hear the lyrics um and just over the past week i've been in a very appreciative mood very creative mood i mean me putting my music together for the first time in years and just looking at all that i've been doing for the past year uh, past two years of trying to recreate myself, get back in touch with the things that I love most, that make me happy, that make me feel good. And the only thing that I got to figure out now is how to make that my living, you know, because my whole purpose in life, I know what my purpose is and why I'm doing it is because I want to spread love and positivity. I want people to feel good about themselves and find what inspires them and moves them to do the same because we need more of that in the world. But I'm also trying to figure out how to use my talents and skills to create a, a sustainable financial life for myself and my family, you know? And twist. Hi, <laughs> shorty. Stretch. You stretching? You stretching? <laughs>
Alright, so it is currently Wednesday afternoon, 2.58 uh, p.m. It's a beautiful, cool New England day. And I'm about to go pick up my mother-in-law, pick her up from work. And I've been going up and down with my emotions this last couple of days. And I've actually been feeling kind of sluggish too, but I don't know if that's because of the fasting and the change in my diet. Meaning, you know, I've been eating a lot and drink, drinking a lot um, at night. And then, you know, I've been sleeping well during the day, but like right now, I'm still tired and whatever. I don't want to complain. I'm not going to complain. But, um, yeah. I just know that I've been thinking about my dreams a lot. Thinking about what I've said in the beginning of this vlog about what I want, knowing what I want, believing that it's gonna happen, and you know, I just want the best for my family and for myself, and I just want my dreams to come true. More than ever do I want my dreams to come true and believe that they can come true, you know. Because of my job and everything, you know, every now and again I get a little anxiety because I want it to happen yesterday. You know, I want money yesterday. Somebody just hit something. Alright, this is my second attempt at a crock pot meal. Right now I'm doing orange sauce meatballs with green beans and pineapple. Um, I'm going to let it continue to cook for about another hour. This time it's not um, a jar of sauce. I actually put it together. This is not going to be for a cooking Thursday um, because... I was just too tired to really pay attention to recording. Um, like I said earlier, my energy's kind of low, and I really do think it has to do with uh, with the fasting. Um, just me adjusting to the time change of eating and all that, so I'm sure I'll be fine in the next day or two. Um, but... The worst part about trying to cook while you're fasting is you can't taste anything. So you're just going to have to pray that the flavors and everything is where it needs to be. So, but um, I if this comes out right or, you know, next time I use the crock pot to do something like this, it will definitely be made into a, um, a video. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to end this now because this is really all I'm doing for the day. Um... And I'm just kind of rethinking, I'm kind of in my head thinking the same things over and over again, if you didn't notice, even in um, what I've been talking about since yesterday at 2 o'clock in the morning. So anyway, I'm going to end it. I hope you got something out of this video. If anything, just a glimpse into where my brain is at the moment and what I want to accomplish. I, I, I just really want my dreams to come true. And I know they will, you know, I just, you know, naturally, sometimes you just, the anxiety of wanting it to happen now gets the best of you. But I'm going to keep pushing forward. I'm going to keep doing what I got to do. And um, that's all I got to say. Until tomorrow's vlog, which will be a cooking vlog, I'll talk to you 
then. Till then, like, love, share, and inspire. Let's love. Peace. Are you doing Mwah. right now? Much love. Love is everything. <laughs>